kilometers per hour. Um, in America, we do miles per hour, so. We won the helicopter? Faster, faster. We're going faster. I don't like that. Is that friendly? Maybe. Why me? I'm guessing those are friendly troops. Why can't they do it? Uh, can you actually talk to me? Wait, so I don't get my tank? actually cover you know and then we would be fine that was close Isn't that my tank or is it what? Which one is mine? <laughs> I don't think I was on this tank, but okay. Really, you're not gonna move? Why are we sat here? Are you gonna go, buddy?
You're driving. Stop saying my name, will you? Yes, I know on the left. I knew it, you're alive. Wait, where the heck are you? In bushes? That tank down. I don't know why some of this won't blow up. Where are you? Oh, those cars are like suicide bombers? Are they? That was a little close. Yeah, I got a little distracted by the RPG that's up here. Yeah, I can't actually see you. You were trapped at the bank. Yeah, and running out of time, like we are now. So they came into the city. Where was that? There was a plaza outside. We were with the nuke inside the bank, waiting for Miller and Anvil 3 to get there. I radio them. I need to know when the relief force is coming. They say three minutes. We'll be there in three minutes. So, holding out for three minutes? Oh. <laughs> Hey, hang up. We have gone up with this misfit unit yet. 
Hate to tell you, there's a lot of tall structures. You know, this is a city. I should probably get in the tank. No, we're just gonna go anyway. That's a risk. Great place for an ambush. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm in the tank, gosh. Stop yelling. Ooh, that's bumpy. Am I supposed to drive through here? Okay, sorry ground unit. Really a pole? Let's get these motherfuckers. Push forward. Go. Come on. Driver, get the fuck out of here. Where's the other RPG here? There's another person over there. I think they're behind the tank.
Ah, uh, there's too many. Uh, this is a lot of people. Oh uh, no. Souvenirs. Is this your child? No, I can see the name. Johnny Miller. Hope he doesn't miss it too much. Now well, children, they get attached to these little things. They can, they can cry for days when they lose one. You know why? Because these small objects remind them they're loved. But loss is part of growing up. Isn't it? Part of growing up is accepting the inevitability of death. The inevitability, Mr. Miller, of death. My father told me that. No wonder you're the way you are. You will be a hero to your children too. I hope that gives you comfort. Brother. <coughs> Amadei. Hey, John. Shame. You come to our country to murder us, yet we are the terrorists when we try to protect our nation and our people. This is the price you pay. Poor Miller. His poor son. His birthday. Imagine being told for your birthday that your father's dead. but it doesn't connect Solomon to the nuke. What else do you have, Sergeant? What else do I have? What else do I need? You just saw him murder Miller. Look in the mirror, Sergeant. You and your buddy Demas' fingerprints are all over the store. Are you a fucking cop? I mean, whose side are you on? Look, you're in the same room where this video was taken. You're at the bank where they found the nuke. Isn't that right? Yes, that's right. We found the three nuke racks. The torn up map Solomon was on the security monitor with Al-Bashir. The building's gone. Your evidence is gone. You got nothing. Yes. All right, when was this? You're sure? Okay, thanks. There's the proof. Well, it appears one of Solomon's aliases just hit the grid here in New York. There you go. So I guess your story checks out. Al-Bashir was real clear about Solomon being his right-hand man. Was he? When? When we went after him. Campo and me. And Sarah's so interested in putting the blame on you. 